Right, facing off against Critter. And uh, yet again, our Valiant finds a way. It's a solid one, I get it. It's just... Who? Well, honestly, there are a lot of monsters who just does not enjoy that. So, starts off with... Apathic. So, this is a clear like grab apple scenario. Let's do that. There is a potential of opponent stays in. I'm not totally against that. I gotta try to keep my cruncher alive as long as possible here. Just decide to withdraw. I think that's a fair, fair thing to do to brute bonnet. What if I U-turn though? What if I U-turn? Well, you didn't. What if? I'm gonna lose some defense, buddy. Um. I do not enjoy this guy. Yep, sending my Brise up. If anything, I get up my Stealth Rush, which is crucial. And also kind of scare him out with the play rough, I think. Come on, lad. Let's do this. Sucker Punch? Pff, please. However, we could expect Spore. Which one is more important? Yeah, Stealth Rock. I am feeling, like I said, Spore here, but... I'm not, like, scared of that. Her power. What? What? <laughs> nope. Alright. Um, bit surprised about that. Thunderwave. I want a Thunderwave so badly. Why did he have Earth Power? I get a ton of hammer. Let's do the damage then. This is a withdraw. It's kind of nice. To Gold Warrior. Oh yeah, you're back. This time you're kinda nasty, aren't you? Gaton Hammer will do nothing on this. Let's see. Don't see any leftovers, which is kind of a right. That's the thing, it's a hard Pokemon to kinda deal with head on. It all depends on what moves it has. I think Kessler can kind of keep it off. Like, it has not the greatest special defense. Um, I don't want to switch into um, the menu attack. If it goes for Curse, I think that's fine. I think I made the right call. Boras looks to be um, the best overall play. Just like withdraw or stay in, I mean. Oof! <laughs> there we go. Or up will sting, but I'll take it. I'm not worried one bit. Who draws? Okay. To what would you bring? Brute for that? Oh no, buddy! No, no. This is oh, oh dear God. That's not it. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus! Um, sucker punching, I guess? I think for Zao or my defensive... Um, um, Tinkaton, Jesus, is uh, so solid uh, for a lot of these scenarios. Let's see, Bullet Seed. That was a crit, alright. Don't get more than two. I think that's fair. You're pushing it, lad. You're pushing it. Four, really? Yeah, all right. I haven't shown my full move pull ever, so there is no reason for my opponent to keep the brute bonnet alive. I don't want to waste my gear on hammer. I kind of want to have that option. So knocking off. Bit surprised, not sucker punching. Um, I'm kind of happy to have Brzea so healthy. 
Like, Tingaton is... Its defensive typing is really solid. I'm, I really found myself appreciating the defensive set a lot more than the sweeping set. Ooh! That's a different hammer, though. So, Thunder Wave. Um, God, I hope this is not the electric variant, right? Best move he got against me is Bulldoze, and I guess the best move I have ever against him is something similar. Or oh, Gigantar Hammer should do plenty. Um, here we go. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, do not want to miss that. What's 90% anyway? Um. Yeah, we're doing this. Of course we do. Um. <clears throat> really didn't want that to happen. I was... If I get this cripple, I should have an easy sack play with Gigaton Hammer afterwards. Foul play. That's a cool combination. Should consider that myself. Fall play might actually be the best overall move anyway. Alright, switches in. Early riser. I I've been called that I've been called that before. <laughs> For the grown ups. <laughs> I was called the Great Tusk too. No, nobody calls me the Great Tusk. The early riser seems to be close to it though. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take him out. That, that's about it. That was never to play. <laughs> I gotta say though, shiny Great Tusk doesn't look as impressive. Looks like a freaking forest. I guess what that what we're going for too. But still, that's not it. Rory Moon, the Reclaws. Alright, so here is an issue. This guy with um, that herb can outspeed me. What will you boost? Attack. Ha ha ha! I got a move for you. You fucked up. <laughs> Damn, I gotta use that Salomon set though. I, I really want to use Rory Moon. I've kind of decided, you know, I, I didn't want to use the most overpowered Pokemon in the beginning, saying that, you know, carrying the Volcarona and whatnot. Um, fuck, there are a lot of Shinies here. Um, no boost? Alright, fired as it is. Uh, could be Terra type, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, like I said, I wanted to kind of avoid using the very best mods, mainly because I kind of feel um, they are too, too over, over powerful, I guess, and um, I just, it didn't feel fair using them, but at the same time, like, you need the balance, you can definitely bring bad mods, but you gotta, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> Volcarona does what Volcarona does, um, <clears throat> but yeah, basically what I realized is I, I can always use bad Pokemons. But it's good having like that backup plan of um, a mod that clearly can soak a few hits and whatnot. And uh, even if it is defensive or if you want offensive momentum, like both of them in my book are fine. Um, okay, I feel bad for my opponent. Do I want to wrap up like this? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. Got the perfect game to um, <laughs> stick together with this game. <laughs> um, and another game with Volcarona probably include this that one too because basically it seems like Volcarona's presents are really, really, really solid. For for contrast, um, one thing that stood out in Sword and Shield was that Volcarona was a late inclusion, so it wasn't as overbearing. But with a limited meta, I mean. What the fuck can you do, right? <laughs> Shit. I fear a Volcarona quiver dancing like a lot. So, <laughs> I can't help feeling the same way about my opponent. So anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this game anyway. Been on the shorter side. But just as glorious anyway. So um, yeah.
Hope you enjoyed it, and they're going to see me with a new team next week. Until then, as always, take care, one right. Bye. Alright. So, there's a lot of girls in this team, isn't it? I am not looking forward to these guys. All of them are scary in their own right, too. But it might actually be just their set being choice scarfed. Real men use choice band, after all. I know that. So let's see, we're going to lead off with... Breloom. Cool. So, it depends. But I think acrobatics here should make short work out of this guy. Stays in. We do connect it. Don't be sashed. Of course! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where's the loaded dice we need it? Don't have gunk shot. Ooh, that's alright. Don't care about those. We do care about potential of gold Dago coming in, though. Um, so I'm gonna send in... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can't, like... I'm trying to think loud. I'm not I'm not doing a very good job at it. But... Basically, my opponent shouldn't spore again. Mag punches. <sighs> That's a loaded hit. Right, fire dance, take him out. Um, not kind of surprised in a fire or mag punch again. Right? That should have been the play. <sighs> Alright. Now we got scenario. We, we can't we can't do anything against the skelly dirge. Question is what do I do against the skelly dirge? Sends in oh Um sure. Ah. Could be choice scarf? Maybe. <laughs> what, what were you <laughs> look I'm sorry guys that's that's kind of funny <laughs> like what was the plan a skill alert just gonna comes in and forced me out I was, I, was, I was sure that was a play okay now you're not even funny that that won't do it a plus one you are you are not I I have no idea what's happening. Um, there we go. That's the lad I was looking for. Now it's. I mean, <laughs> the fuck, right? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> looks about right. Oh, let's see if this one gets uploaded. Exactly we're gonna for all the right reasons. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.